What's up guys, it's the iPod Touch 511 here with a video. Um, this video is going to be about the new iPod Touch 4th generation. Alright, so iPod Touch 4th generation is the best iPod yet. Um, it has FaceTime, Retina Display, HD Video Recording, and Game Center. Um, these are major features that are going to come with the iPod Touch 4. Um, as you can see in the picture of it, it has the FaceTime camera right up there. And it has the back-facing camera right there. And I'm not sure if you can see that little dot right next to the camera, but that is Apple says a microphone. And the volume rockers have changed a little bit. Instead of being connected, they're two separate volume controls. So that's a little bit different. Um, FaceTime, the biggest feature, I would have to say, is coming to iPod Touch. And it makes sense that Apple would add this because it only can run over Wi-Fi on the iPhone 4. So that is a big improvement to the iPod. Retina display, a big expected feature and a big wanted feature, now here. So better display on your iPod makes it better, more enjoyable. Game Center was going to come anyways, but still, it's a pretty cool feature. Head-to-head um, -head gaming and things like that. Uh, accessibility. Um, iPod Touch 3rd generation has had that, um, but I decided to stick it on there. Um, it's good for people that have disabilities, um, such as um, they need a voiceover, um, a Zoom, and things like that. So that's good for those people. Um, HD video recording comes to iPod Touch, which is a big, big leap in the iPod line. Um, it has a camera also. I just decided to stick in that camera icon because it didn't have it. But um, I did take a screenshot and it does have camera because it has the video and the camera little switcher on the thing and you can download iMovie from the App Store. You can't see that so I'm just going to read it to you. Get the iMovie app and start editing movies on your iPod Touch. Available on the App Store for $4.99. Um, and then I got the photos from Apple. Just put that on there for credit. Um, right here you can see the FaceTime camera front facing and here you can see the little dot, the microphone up close and then there's the camera um, now also getting off the iPod touch subject Apple also has updated the iPod nano line they have pretty much just taken an iPod touch and shrunk it or shrink it I should say um, pretty much like what they did that with the iPad they blew up an iPod touch so I guess they decided to shrink an iPod touch fan did that. Um, let's see. And then the iPod Shuffle, they kind of changed it back to its old design instead of its square design. Let me pull it up on Safari. Um, I guess people didn't like the fact that they had to use the um, control on the uh, headset. So, I guess Apple decided to put in the old design and throw in a few extra buttons. Uh, so, I'm hoping to get the iPod Touch for this weekend. And hopefully I'll be able to post an unboxing on it. And if I don't get to post an unboxing as soon as I get it, I'll put everything back in its original packaging and um, get it out as an unboxing. And I'll have some reviews of it coming, hopefully. And let's see. All right, let's see if this thing will load. Okay, I, ki I skipped the loading time, and plus I had to cut it off because my little brother walked in here. So, yeah. All right. Well, here we go with the iPod line. Uh, you can see the iPod Touch, and then okay, here is the iPod Nano. You can see it is a touch screen. It says the new iPod Nano with multi-touch. No, I don't want to go. Okay. Sorry about that. 
and then the new iPod Shuffle. See, it went back to its old design. Uh, now it is now forty-nine dollars. Forty-nine dollars, excuse me. Um, it has buttons, a voiceover, and playlists. So it's pretty much an improved version of the other one with buttons, as the first iPod Shuffle. And also, Apple has. Sorry, this is not wanting to cooperate. Okay, the new Apple TV. Uh, I'm not sure if they renamed it or not. Um, no, it still says Apple TV up there. And all the iPod line has been updated, except for the iPod Classic. Now, that is a little bit interesting. Maybe Apple is going to remove the iPod Classic from its line soon. But who knows. But every iPod was updated except for the iPod Classic. So that's pretty much the rundown of that. And uh, as I was going to as I was saying, hopefully I'll get the new iPod this weekend and put some videos up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And please check out my channel um youtube.com/theipodtouch511. Have a great rest of the day.